guys, Epic Race 169 here. This is probably going to be pretty deep, probably, and people probably debate on this too. But, and, but, yeah, I'm going to make it anyway. And, of course, I've been wanting to make this for so long, I've been saying, should I make a video on simulation theory, or not? As, like, people are going to say that you're in the real world anyways, so... Yeah, you are in the real world, that's the truth, this is the real world, but anyway, yeah, I think it's kind of a simulation, not gonna lie. Now, this is also based on what stuff I watched, but you got the Big Bang, yeah, that happened. I'm sure it happened because somebody, want or the creator, wanted to boot the simulation up, right? But then again, he also created, the creator also created consciousness. So the fact that you're conscious right now means that even if it was one, you would probably prefer to be in this reality than in no reality, because even if you found out that it was a simulation, it would be really bad. Now I'm not sure how bad, you can only become skeptical. And you have Mandela Effect. The Mandela Effect happens all the time, as well as the, what was that again? Well, I forgot. It was the um, deja vu. You have deja vu. Or maybe we're just bits and pieces of code replicating and changing all the time. Clearly. I mean, you heard the term DNA code and biohacking. Like, there's people that are genetic engineers, scientists out there. Now, I'm not personally one, but they could change certain stuff about you. Well, at least in your body, right? And then you have people who are doing these types of, well, they're doing some types of drugs that help them cheat in sports. Or, I guess in s you play too many video games that could be considered hacking. So I guess we're not gonna call it real world hacking, but that's considered cheating. But imagine this, if it was a simulation, why is it that Maybe one day, if you took some sort of potion or a drink, you can make yourself instantly stronger or turn yourself into a superhuman. Now, if you don't think it's a simulation after this, I'm not sure. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's called steroids and that exists. Yep, people want to do that stuff. And it's called blood doping. That's also a thing, so people are trying to make themselves superhuman. And then you got the whole Neuralink thing and all this other tech that's coming out. Now, if you don't think it's a simulation after that, then I don't know, but you could believe whatever you want to believe. We're not trying to force this onto you, but this is pretty deep. Yeah, it may be a simulation, and it may be a 1% or a 50-50 chance that we're not the only world out there, and the fact that the 50-50 or the 1% chance of, it, of this being base reality is probably true. Maybe you are in base reality, maybe you're not. But even if it was one, the world is still real to you. It's still real to us. Your friends are still real. So, yeah, even if it was a simulation, you're still gonna enjoy it. And the same goes for me. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys next time. And hit the bell. Okay, here's a little follow-up that I forgot to mention. You have virtual reality, right? And all these computers and stuff. Well, the thing is, there's going to get to the point where graphics are going to be so indis indistinguishable from reality that you can't even tell anymore. And meta so prototypes of headsets that, are, that have graphics are so indistinguishable that you don't want to go back to using the Quest 2. Like, they are wise to make it so real that you can't tell. And most other companies are trying to do this too. So, take that with a grain of salt. So, yeah, it may be simulation, but hey, it's all real to us. Anyways, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. And hit the bell.